Hello everybody, hi and welcome back. It's that time of year. It's the best time of the year. It is the time where I go over my five favorite sunscreens of the year and in another video I will be doing my five least favorite. I like to separate them because sometimes you don't want to watch things that are like 20 minutes long. So hopefully we will cut to the chase and I will go over my five favorites. I have to say this one's the hardest for me usually because whittling it down to just five is incredibly hard. So I tend to have a few kind of like honorable mentions and this year I do have a few. But with that said, there's really not much more to it than to get into the video because I wanna share what my favorites were this year, what I cannot stop reaching for and we'll get going. So if you are enjoying this video while you're watching it, please give it a big old thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already and we'll get going. So I think this was the year that I fell for mineral sunscreens, which is kind of crazy because I've always liked mineral sunscreens, but they've always been not really my cup of tea because sometimes they can be super heavy. They can feel like makeup. And some days you just don't want to wear makeup. You just want, you know, sun protection. And I have made it known that I'm not a huge fan of non-tinted ones because most non-tinted mineral sunscreens do have a cast and then i have to go over it with some type of makeup which is fine on a, like a normal day but it's not always what i want and then sometimes i just want to put it on and go and not have to worry so the ones that i found today i think are exactly that now if you don't mind the heavier kind of like more makeup y feel i have plenty of videos out there i have a whole uh, playlist dedicated to mineral sunscreens so there are plenty there but these are kind of my preference so that's one caveat. The other caveat that I should mention is this is not inclusive of every sunscreen, of course. This is just the ones that I've tested and really tried out. And then secondly, I want to mention that most of these are new from 2023. There may be a few that are not though, but again, it's kind of like, what did I fall in love with this year? What are my recommendations for this year? And you can always go back and look at my other favorite videos um, from years past. Those are still my favorites. And yeah, I think that's the, those are the two caveats. So now let's really get into my favorites. And these are in no particular order because it was hard enough to narrow them down to five or so. So the first one, which I don't know, maybe it is a favorite. <laughs> this is the Lightsaber Activated Mineral Sunscreen. This is tinted. I've talked about this, I guess just in one video, but I have loved this sunscreen so much. I feel like the reason that I love it is because so many sunscreens these days are very glowy, very dewy. They're for people with drier skin, which is great. I think everyone, every skin type should have a type of sunscreen that they reach for, but that means that there aren't really as many that are for like kind of that natural or matte look. And this is definitely one of those. So when you put it on, it has that kind of, I would say like primer-esque feel to it. It's a little bit moussey, it's a little bit matte, but it doesn't feel drying at all. I feel like when I put this on, I actually feel quite moisturized and it blends in so so seamlessly it's got one of the absolute best kind of color um, matches and i wouldn't even say match but like it doesn't have this really strong pull to it and if you are interested in seeing the full review of course i have full reviews on all of them but i also want to mention that i have a swatch series where i've swatched all of these so you can really see the tone against other sunscreens so go ahead and check that out um, if you're interested so this one like i said i think it's one of the better hydrating but for normal slash a little bit oily skin i really enjoy the feel of it it feels weightless on your skin i don't ever feel like it's like sitting heavy makeup goes over it really nicely it's just a great sunscreen and i just am super impressed by it so that's number one number two this should not be a shock either and i love that this is in here because a lot of the sunscreens i have are not super affordable and this one by bubble is incredibly affordable this is their plus one tinted um, sunscreen. They also have a non-tinted one, but that one's not one of my favorites. This one, again, it's very similar, I would say, to the lightsaber. These two probably out of the ones that I'm reviewing today are the most similar. The lightsaber is gonna cost you a lot more. It's by a smaller brand though, it's very cool. And then um, the bubble is gonna be, I think it's like $12 or so. And again, this tint, while it looks a little bit um, heavy here or like more pigmented, it actually blends into your skin really, really easily. Well, it doesn't have that moussey feel like the lightsaber one, 
This one actually dries down to a really natural finish. It's not matte, it's not glowy, it just feels like skin. I will say though, if you, again, I'm really gonna reference you guys back to the swatch video because a lot of these are swatched in it and it will really help you kind of determine the shade. But the lightsaber one, I feel like pulls a little bit more neutral. So that's good for maybe a wider range of skin tones where the bubble can pull a little bit warm. And let's see, you can kind of see the difference just on my hand. This is the lightsaber side with my watch and this side is with bubble. And you can see how it's just pulled a little bit warmer. You can see the difference. There's the sunscreen, there's not. So it's a great sunscreen nevertheless, but I do kind of tend to go for the lightsaber side just because then I don't have to worry about a line on my neck or anything like that. But two really, really great finds that I'm super impressed by. I've got two more, well, not two more. I've got more than that, but two more that are kind of in the same vein. And these are the Fab um, First Aid Beauty what, the Weightless Liquid Mineral Sunscreen and then the Bloom Effects Tulip Dew Drops in Vitamins and Mineral SPF 50. So these are very comparable again. This one with the Fab Beauty is gonna be a little bit more affordable, whereas the Bloom Effects is gonna be your luxury one. But look at this packaging. I always say that, like this packaging is just to die for. I actually though like the packaging of the First Aid Beauty more, just because you can just pour it out into your hand. Whereas the Bloom Effects has a pump and sometimes because it is so liquidy, this formula, it kind of like goes everywhere because it's not really, I don't think this is the best delivery, but they are both incredibly weightless, incredibly fluid. And both of them have, again, one of the most neutral undertones that you can find, especially when I swatched the Bloom Effects in my swatch video. This is better for dry skin. So go check that video out. It was just like invisible. It has enough of a pigment to cancel out the white cast from the zinc oxide, but not enough to make it to pull too warm, pull too cool, pull too neutral, which I don't think that's a problem. And then the First Aid Beauty one is also a really neutral undertone. I think it can pull a little bit more of a tone and I'm gonna just swatch them on my hand right now so you can see. Okay, it's very hard to see. On this side, we have the bloom effects. You can see how much like there's just a lot of um, hydration in it. So this Bloom Effects is definitely gonna be better for dry skin. Um, the First Aid Beauty is not bad for dry skin. I would say it's a little bit better though for normal skin too. So as you can see, they both pull a little bit neutral, but I would say that the Bloom Effects kind of does have a little bit of a warmer undertone. But the thing about it is the second you blend it in, it's completely neutral. And same with the First Aid Beauty. So they're very subtle differences, but I wouldn't say they're going to be incredibly too warm for most people. It's just a matter of your skin tone. If you are in the fairest end of it, they may pull warm, but I would say for more people in the middle range, they're gonna be just fine. So absolutely beautiful. They layer wonderfully under makeup, especially because they are so light and fluid, and I just enjoyed them thoroughly. Okay. And my last number five, which was a really big shocker to me, but I do love the Shiseido brand sunscreens for the most part. This is the Vita Clear Invisible Protection Vitamin C sunscreen. I am almost done with this. I have about that much left. This is 30 ounces though, so you only get one fluid, or 30 milliliters or one fluid ounce. So it is pretty small and Shiseido is notoriously more expensive, but this sunscreen, is incredible. It really reminds me of a lot of the super group of like, what are these, the daily doses, where they're very liquidy in format, which is great, but I like this better than this um, daily dose from super group, which is the same kind of concept. This is vitamin C, this is vitamin C. Now that said, I don't use this as my primary vitamin C. I put on a vitamin C underneath, but this kind of like, I feel like it gives me that extra oomph of vitamin C and it is 100% clear and visible. I can show you, but you're not gonna see anything. So let's do a little swatch. It kind of goes on white, as you can see, but then immediately it's gone. And this definitely has an oil kind of format. I wouldn't say that it's oily, and I do have more normal to oily skin, especially in the summer, but it soaks in really, really nicely. And again, this is one of those ones if you wanna wear makeup over top, easy peasy there's no pilling i've never had any issues with it it's just a lovely sunscreen and i think it's a really good option for people who want to kind of get that extra skincare benefit along with their sunscreen and don't want to have to deal with the fuss of a tinted one because i know a lot of the times i don't want to have to deal with it i just want to put sunscreen on i don't want to wear makeup i don't want to wear anything and this is one of my go-to's and i do have i'm going to talk about one of my other kind of like 
on the border ones in my actual lace favorites. And I only do that because I don't want to add too many to this video. So I'll just talk about my one honorable mention. And the reason that it didn't make it into the top five are a few reasons. <laughs> but let me first tell you what it is. This is the hydropeptide, what is it? Solar Defense Tinted Sunscreen. This stuff is incredible. I'm wearing it today. It is my makeup. It's not, I'm not wearing it as necessarily sunscreen. While you can wear it as that, I wanted to put on a little bit of a base of just a clear sunscreen underneath. And then I put a little bit less than I would normally put of this. I will say there are a few reasons that I put it kind of in the honorable mention. And those are why it didn't make it to that top tier. But number one is it is strongly fragranced. It kind of smells like cucumber, very minty, or not minty, but like spa-like. I like it, but it is strong. So if you don't like scents, it's not gonna be the one for you. And then secondly, I have noticed, and I've used probably over half the bottle of this. If you put anything underneath it, like another sunscreen or maybe even, I, I don't know, like a primer, it can tend to pill a little. I'll have it pill on the edges. And I find also that it pills if I put too much on. So there's like this very fine line where I can put up to five pumps of it and that's as much as I can do. So I don't love that because I love to slather my face in sunscreen, but you kind of have to draw that line and then maybe also make sure your skin is properly exfoliated. Sometimes I just have pilling on the edges right here, but I would say that it's been more lately when I've been layering it on top of another I'm at like clear sunscreen. So this is probably better for one of those days where you're not wearing anything at all. But I love the fact that this goes on clear. It actually acts as makeup. Like right now, I feel like I have the same level of makeup on as like a normal like skin tint day. And then I just put a little bit of concealer over top if I want to, I don't have to. And that's pretty much it. It's got SPF 30, which isn't the highest, but it's still a really good amount. And the most important thing that I love about it is it dries down. It really sets, like I feel like it sets on my skin. I'm not, it's not going anywhere once if I get any of the pilling off, but you know, I've already talked about that and it's not going to move or budge. Now you definitely have to make sure that you take it off properly and double cleanse. But I've always talked about like that fact that when sunscreens just feel like they're running off your face, I don't love that. I want them to be where they say they're gonna be. And I love that about this. So I think that's it. I'm looking at these sunscreens and I do have a video on each and every one of them. So if you are interested in getting the full review, go just search um, the name of the sunscreen on my channel and you should find it. So I think that's it guys. Now at the end of these videos, I like to give kind of like some words of advice, even though I know most people don't care, um, I still do it. And I guess for this year, it's been, I would say the most challenging year of my life. <laughs> and it's one of those things where life is going to come at you and it's never going to be a free ride, easy ride. But I have made such an effort to really grow this channel, to put in the effort to continue to put videos out. I put about two videos out a week or every five days or so. And it's something that I love and I'm seeing it reap the benefits or me reap the benefits, but also it's given me this sense of stability in this chaotic year. Like I didn't necessarily want to film some days, but I still did. I sit down on the weekends, I work Monday through Friday, and I sit down and put in the work. And what I guess I'm trying to say is sometimes, and this is not a new concept, but you have to plant your garden in the spring to, or maybe in the winter to reap the benefits in the summer and later in the fall. So I think that's my message. This year has been so challenging for me and I've talked about it a few times, but I have continued to put the work in and hopefully those, that work will pay off in the future. So. I hope that you guys continue to do that. I hope you take any shred of little advice that I can offer. And I hope your 2024, 2024 is better than your 2023. I hope that the same for me. And I will see you guys in the new year. Bye.